Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. There's a scene in the movie Father Stu where seminarians Stu and Jacob conduct a prison ministry visit. Jacob attempts to begin the lesson when he's interrupted by an inmate ridiculing the young seminarian. Then Stu makes a comeback, having lived the rougher life that the inmate quickly relates to and is able to break through to the heart of the inmate and leaves the room silent. No squawks, no mocks, only a common ground of understanding and relatability. Today's saint wasn't an inmate, but she did live in total poverty throughout her life. So much so that she wasn't able to follow her call to a religious vocation until much later in her life. Unbeknownst to her, this would be exactly where God needed her to be so that she could better serve once she joined her order. Maria was born in 1820 to an impoverished family in Germany. Where her family lacked in finances and material possessions, they made up for in total love for God. Maria especially loved to read. She constantly was found reading her Bible and copy of Imitation of Christ by Thomas Kempis. Not a bad reading list in the slightest. Her health constantly kept her at home from school, so she filled her time with reading and learning how to spin and weave. She even helped with extra money for her family by breaking up stones used to construct local roads. With the passing of her father in 1841, and older brother shortly after, Maria knew that she would have to wait to pursue the call to religious life just a little while longer. Her family needed her at this time, and she was at peace with this for the time being. As a temporary solution, she found joy in leading other children in her village on many pilgrimages to local Marian shrines. She found joy in bringing others closer to Christ through his mother, who just like them had found themselves without nothing at a crucial moment in their lives. Following the death of her mother, Maria was finally able to answer her call to religious life. With the permission of her bishop, she and a group of other women who had the same calling in their hearts were able to form a community. In 1851, they were officially established as the poor handmaids of Jesus Christ. They went all in on serving the poor in their community. Because of her background, she was quickly accepted and loved as someone who deeply cared about those she served and was able to share Christ with everyone she encountered. The order is still active today throughout Germany, the Netherlands, US, Mexico, and throughout India. It's one thing to sympathize with someone and to try and understand their background, but it's a totally different level when you can empathize with those you're serving or ministering to. Walking with someone who is experiencing something we've been through can be a total act of love and healing, not just for them, but also for ourselves. Let us find those who are carrying the same cross as us and not hide from each other, but rather walk the journey together toward Christ and His unending joy. Where we lack, may we allow Christ to fill our hearts with grace and blessings. St. Maria Katerina Casper, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.